Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, my name is Lauren. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you some of my current favorites and some items that I have picked up recently. I do have a new handbag to show you. It is under $500 Canadian, and I'm really excited because I love being able to show you some luxury options, some high quality leather bags that are under the $500 price point, um, just because we love an affordable bag, right? Um, I have some skincare, some bag chains, some shoes, different things to kind of show you. So let's just get into it right now. Let's start with the handbag. So the brand is Songmont. I have two Songmont bags, the Tofu Reset as well as the little mini wonton. If you watched my luxury bags under a thousand, my top picks, then you would have known that the Tofu Reset was featured in that. Um, it just comes with the brand information, uh, everything in the details. You will see this handbag. Like the details that went into this and the thought and just the innovation, I love it. And then the brand story is an Asian owned brand and I do love that. So that's just the little information cards that came with that. And this, like I mentioned, is a fairly new release. They just released this last month and it comes in so many colors, but I had to get this. It is so beautiful. So this is it here. I just want to make sure I'm showing you the front. This is called the Luna bag. So it is based off of the moon and the inspiration was the moon. I feel like there are a couple brands that have a bag named the Luna, um, but this is it here. I got mine in the color Jade, which is this beautiful kind of cool toned um, greenish gray. You can see that the leather is also pebbled. It is calf leather and it's pebbled there and it has like this really sort of soft feel to it. It is stunning. I was going between this color and the yellow, but I decided to go with this. I don't have anything this kind of green color and I thought it was just stunning. This crescent shape is just in right now. I feel like so many luxury brands are making sort of like the hobo style in the crescent shape and I feel like for 2023 it's going to be like a very strong handbag trend doll. So it does also come with a strap which I will show you in a moment but the cool thing about this handbag and what I really love about it is that you can carry this multiple different ways. So the first way that you can carry it is just kind of over the shoulder like that and then I can kind of see here how it looks. It's really nice because it doesn't slip off the shoulder and the drop is also really good. So you could wear like a bulky kind of winter jacket underneath it, but these handles here actually come out. They are just like uh, a magnetic type of closure. So you just have to slide them off. I have to make sure I'm sliding it off the right way. And then you take these two sides here and you can create a completely different handbag. So now, and now we have this totally different silhouette, which is also very on trend right now. So you can hold it like this. I just, I love this. I just love the versatility of this. You can carry it sort of, I would carry it sort of in the, just the, like by hand like that, but you could also, I guess, slip it under um, into your forearm, but that is another way that you can carry it. And then if you take that strap that you just took off and then you slide the closure in, now you have a completely another way. So this I feel like is a little bit more glammed up. So if you are say traveling and you only want to take one handbag because you want to be able to use it for multiple different occasions, this is it. Like this is it. Or if you're going to work or you're going out during the day um, running errands and then you're going to meet up with some friends later on, um, and go for drinks, then you can transition the handbag so easily. I just added the crossbody strap, and now we have a completely different handbag. The strap is adjustable too, so if you want a longer crossbody, you could definitely adjust it. I like a fairly high crossbody, so this is perfect for me. This is probably the way I will wear it the most. That and the shoulder, I would say, um, just because I like to be hands-free typically, but let me quickly also show you this detail. There is a lock at the top right there, and you can take it off. It does open, as you can kind of see there, and it does say Songmont on it, so it just has the branding there. I feel like that's like a nice little touch and a nice added detail. And then to open the handbag, there is just, as you can see, a magnetic closure, and it opens like that nice and easy. There is one pocket on the side there and then the inside is lined with leather and kind of that micro suede um, material so I love this I feel like 
if you are traveling like I mentioned before and you just want to take one handbag this is it because it can transition you from sort of daytime to nighttime so easily I will link the song Mont Luna bag down below it does come in I think four colors in total but this jade color is just so gorgeous and I feel like it's neutral enough to sort of pair with a lot of different outfits I'm gonna move on to skincare and I have an amazing set to show you by this Korean luxury brand. I believe it's pronounced Thonginbi. If I have any Korean subscribers, please let me know if I am pronouncing that correctly. But um, I worked with them back in, I think it was April, March or April, and they had originally sent me this, which is the Red Ginseng Daily Defense Essence serum um, I used it up completely and then I went on to Amazon and I bought another one and I used this up so I've gone through two bottles of this and it was perfect timing because when they messaged me I was completely empty out of this one so perfect timing they sent me this new kit this is the moisturizing and firming kit uh, I have very dehydrated and dry skin so this is just up my alley so here is the inside of the moisture and firming kit. You get two full size products. One is a softener and then one is an emulsion. You get two of the small travel size of those. And then you get uh, essence as well as a uh, firming and moisture cream. So I think this is really great if you are planning on traveling or if you wanna gift it to someone that travels quite a bit because then they have like the little travel size. So what makes this different, Tongan be different from other brands is that they use red ginseng. I I believe on their site it says it goes through six years like six cycles of growing and production but I did do on one of my final papers my background is food and nutrition so at university in my functional foods and nutraceuticals course I actually did a final paper on Panax ginseng which is also known as like Asian ginseng and the benefits for the body and there are so many and there are also benefits for the skin obviously so each product here uses three different types of the ginseng it uses the ginseng water it uses the ginseng extract and it uses the ginseng oils I've been using the softener as well as the emulsion and then the cream for about I would say four weeks now primarily I would say the emulsion and the softener and I can tell you I have noticed a difference typically I like to use products I would say for about three months before I can give it like a really good review but it's definitely helped I can say a hundred percent with just like my skin barrier because I mentioned that I get really really dry skin it is a hundred percent helped it just really helps with moisturizing the thing that I really love about the products especially the softener I'll just show you the travel size version. It's really watery, as you can kind of see here. And I basically use this to prep for my serum, but it's not sticky at all, which I love. So that's the softener. Like I said, it basically just sort of, I use it before I use my actives, so it helps my actives to sort of sink in, but it provides that initial layer of moisturization. And then really quickly, I wanna show you the emulsion because the emulsion to me is like a very light cream. So the texture of the emulsion, as you can kind of see there, if you have dry skin, I feel like you need this. This one penetrates a little bit deeper into the skin and I really feel like it then pushes in that ginseng. It's just beautiful and it kind of gives you that immediate glassy glowy skin so I'll typically put this on after my serum and then seal everything in with the moisturizer I have been using this little trial size at night and a little bit goes a really really long way it is so I don't want to waste it but it's just so thick and creamy it's beautiful like this this is definitely luxury skincare. I will link this kit down below. You can get it on Amazon. Like I said, if you're into luxury skincare, definitely check it out. I really feel like ginseng is so beneficial to the skin. It also contains, a lot of these products contain niacinamide, um, panthenol, beta-glucan, glycerin, so really nice moisturizing ingredients in here. Moving on, let's talk about a couple of the handbags I've been using a lot recently, and it's because I've changed up the bag strap. So this is my very beloved Balenciaga Gossip Chain Wallet. I have a new bag chain on it. It is from Next Fashion. All my bag chains are from Next Fashion. Um, they are a Canadian company based in Toronto. I've been using them now for about over two years, I think, and they've just held up so well, no tarnishing or anything. This is their new style. It is called the Candy Box Chain. 
it is so gorgeous and like heavy and like really you can tell it's just really well made like all of their bag chains um i will link my videos um in the description box and somewhere here i show a lot of their bag chains and how you can convert your louis vuitton slgs into handbags but this is the new one and it is a 40 inch so you can also speak with the owner his name is paul he is amazing he's so kind and you can customize the length so i like my bay chains to sit a little bit higher up so that's why i always do like a 40 inch and the 40 inch is usually including the clasp as well for comparison this is the original chain and then this is the candy box chain so there is a difference in color but i find that the candy box chain does match the hardware pretty nicely and this hardware matches most of the louis vuitton hardware as well but i just i love the way that it hits because the original bag chain was just too long. The next handbag is my Jacquemus Le Grand Bambino, and I switched out the crossbody strap for this. This is also the candy box chain. I can't remember the exact length. I will link it down below, but I think this is 20 inches, and now you just have a shoulder bag. So I just feel like being able to change the straps and it just makes it more versatile but i love being able to have a shoulder bag because i really don't have any so i will link my bag chains down below as well as some of the other ones that i love and my prior videos but i just love having the versatility and being able to change things up Moving on to shoes, I have some New Balance. I love New Balance. I've loved New Balance before New Balance was even in. Like, I used to wear them quite a bit, probably like 10 or so years ago. But these ones are fairly new. I just picked these ones up. These are the, they always have the number. These are the 327s. Um, I want to get another pair. I love it. I love like the croc detail there. But I feel like these just make your feet look nice. And I don't know how to explain it. But if you have these, let me know if you feel the same. I just feel like they slim down the feet, just the way that they're kind of shaped there. And then it has this like beautiful gray suede detail. I like the back detail with the rubber coming up as well. But um, I love these shoes. They're so comfortable. They're probably the most comfortable New Balance I have. I got mine in a size 38. That's my general size, my European 38. Can't get enough of these. I need to get another pair. And last but not least, I have to tell you that I have been loving this kit. I showed it last week, I think, in my Sephora haul, but it is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Fluffy and Fuller Looking Brow Kit. It is the one that comes with the dual powder and then the brow freeze and then um, that dual ended kind of uh, brush. But I will tell you, I didn't get the hype of when people were going on and on about this um brow freeze i tried the nyx sort of dupe and it did not work for me this is a game changer i have fairly sparse sort of asian brows um so using the powder to fill it in and then kind of brushing my brows up with this this definitely holds it all day although now because i am off work well it doesn't look so bad actually it looks pretty decent for being like at work all day and then using this so i will say that um i understand the hype of the brow freeze now I do have sort of sparse asian brows i find that the powder works really well and then i also use the pencil that i got from them um during the sale too and then finishing it up with that brow freeze like it just works it just works so definitely check it out like i said i picked this up during the sale but i still think it's a good kit even if you were to get it full price um because you get three different products so that is it i talked way too much so if you have managed to make this far thank you so much and if you have any questions please leave them down below and i will see you in my next video bye